The animal inside is thirsting for a fight with a world that is so dull and broken. It dies before my eyes. Fade out into the white. You smile completely blind. How's it going Tokyo Ghoul fans? Soul here and honestly I'm just not sure what to think of the finale for season 2. My girlfriend and I were just watching and waiting for something epic to happen. We both agreed last season was definitely better, but there was something I enjoyed about the slow pacing of the finale, though at the same time I wanted it to build to something bigger, and in the end it didn't and we were pretty much left with a huge cliffhanger. The switching back and forth between the present and the past, while Hide makes Kaneki a cup of coffee would have given a much stronger impact had Hide been in the series more of the season, or at least if something epic was going to happen. Slow on top of slow on top of slow. Some part of me enjoyed the sorrow of the ending, but I felt like a huge fight just needed to happen. And I personally think that Kaneki should have been way stronger than Amon in the previous episodes. There should have been a better fight. It didn't connect very well. Honestly, at this point, I gotta read the manga. I think they're just leaving out important pieces to the story, or like I had said at the beginning of the series, Sweet Ishida isn't doing a direct adaptation. If that is the case, it definitely shows. And what, Toka's been running for like three episodes or something out in the snow. Like, I want to know what's going to happen to my favorite character. Get her in the action. Put her next to Kaneki. I don't want to see her running to Anteko in the snow the whole time. And then at the end, I'm just sitting at the edge of my seat. This is it. This is it. Toka's going to meet Kaneki once again. So much build up for this moment, and it's just doesn't happen. Maybe Ishida was hyping us up for next season, but at the finale we waited a whole season to at least see the relationship between Toka and Kaneki get some closure, and I'm very sad that we got to see none of that happen. At the same time, you have Kaneki and Hide. They could have drawn out some more of Kaneki's character without the acoustic version of Unravel playing at the end. I don't think I would have even felt very much for those two. But do let me say I loved Unravel playing at the end. That was beautiful. I want the full version of that song now. That unquestionably took the ending up a notch. Still with Amon and Akira, with Juzo, everything was left untouched. With so many slow moments, they had plenty of time to focus on a few other characters. Overall, I enjoyed the season, but I didn't get the same gratification as season one. I'm still very interested in the ending with Toka grown up. I'm happy for the character, and I'm of course hyped for a third season. I hope it continues. But so far the only thing that's been greenlit is a Tokyo Ghoul Jack prequel spinoff. I wish I was back in Tokyo for the stage play, but I'm not sure I'll get to see that. Still, Tokyo Ghoul Jack is something to look forward to. Apparently there's an incident with a human devouring a ghoul in the 13th Ward. We have some new characters, both ghouls and investigators. I'm anticipating a release this year, but I want to know what you guys thought about the ending in the comments below. I would love to get your opinions on the finale. And of course subscribe because there will most definitely be more Tokyo Ghoul to come. So I'll see you guys. Don't fuck up season three.